Hello friends, my name is Steve and this is Steve Talks Books. This week I want to tell you about one of the most unsettling and frightening and thought-provoking books I've read yet. So before we get into it, I always think it's important to mention that I'm weird about spoilers. I like to go into books blind and I try to uh, make reviews that are for people who don't like to be spoiled on anything, don't like to have any extra information, don't read the synopsis. That's kind of my perspective on it. But this time will be a little bit different because I wanted to talk about some of the themes and some of the some of the other thoughts I have coming out of this book that I'm going to talk a little bit about the story and some themes that I picked up out of it that I think warrant uh, extra conversation. So if you are coming into this and you're used to the the blind, uh, very limited, uh, you know, no plot points reviews, I want to thank you for for coming by. I will say that the synopsis. Uh, there is no synopsis on this book. So you'll be safe. Uh, even I think even on Amazon, the synopsis on Amazon didn't really re reveal much. So if you like to go into books blind, then you're safe. Uh, you can just go into it. And the two blurbs on the back don't really give you a whole lot of, of information about the book or what happens in it. There's so much that happens that it's hard to spoil it. But I'll do my best to uh, to not spoil it, to not spoil any anything that happens, or just the thoughts that I had after finishing it. And to be honest, I'm not even sure why I picked this book up. I don't remember why. I just remember buying it. I think it was recommended to me from someone. So I was I was looking for my next book and I thought I needed something horror because I've been reading lots of fantasy. I needed something scary, something unsettling. I needed something. And uh, so I started looking through the shelves and I saw this sitting on the shelf. And I went to Goodreads and, and saw that my friend Juan from Plague by Visions had reviewed this one, gave it five stars. So I was sold. I'm, I'm going to read this thing. So in the story, we follow a group of teenagers, and each each chapter we get different perspectives from different characters. So it jumps back and forth, but all these characters know each other, and they all interact. They live in a town where there's lots of suicides. Lots of people are committing suicide, and uh, no one is really sure why this is happening. And I think part of the reason why no one's really sure is, you know, this book explores the younger, you know, the millennials and the Gen X, you know, the tale, you know, be, before anyone says anything about generations, I think the the generation that you're in always complains about the previous generation. That's just the way it works. So when I talk about these things, I'm not criticizing any generation. I think that's just silly. You know, we we when I, you know I I'm at the tail end of gen of Generation X, and they said we were all lazy, and you know that's just the way this works. I think it's just the previous generation just likes to talk about how the new generation is terrible and back in my day this didn't happen old man yells at cloud kind of thing so that's not what I'm doing here I think it's important to to discuss these things because I think technology has changed so much about the way we live and it, it it's explored here in this book too because the the suicides and the, the news that you know as the news rolls out the teenagers are watching the news or, or going on the internet or watching these terrible things you know, crime scene photographs and things like that, that usually the, the public never saw before. And I think that adds to the, it can add to a generation that doesn't have empathy the way that the previous generations did. And our world moves so fast that we, we don't stop and just absorb news anymore. We keep going. So something terrible happens and, you know, it, it, it affects us, but most of the time we just keep going and it's on to the next thing. And that's not any generation. That's just the world we live in now. Because news, com you know, the news, is, it happens so fast. It's from all over the world. It happens in an instant. And we all know what's happening. But it's it's so much that it's hard for us to to process all this information going on. So a lot of these a lot of these characters are, are, are looking at, a lot of these characters in the book are looking at, uh, you know, are, are searching out crime scene photos and the, this, ter this terrible stuff. And it's not really, it's affecting them, but it's not, they're so used to it. It's at their fingertips, you know. And I'm about to go uh, talk about back in the day, but before when you wanted to, when you wanted a crime scene photo or you wanted something like that, you had to know someone who knew somebody who had, who was married to someone who had friends, who was someone's cousin. Now it's you Google search and you can find someone. I mean, it's, it's not, you can find whatever you want from, you could find whatever terrible thing you want to look into. Another thing that I really liked about this book is that it doesn't bang your head. It doesn't get these ideas and bang your head with it. It's just in the story and it it explores these ideas but it's not heavy-handed with them so you can read this as a horror book and enjoy it or you can dig deeper i think there's a whole lot that i missed this is a book that's just begging to be uh, reread 
And this book gave me some pretty big it vibes because we live in a town where these terrible things are happening. Each kid has its, it is very defined and has their own unique situation, some more dysfunctional than others. And I think they, they struggle with, uh, you know, growing up in these families and, and all these terrible things that are happening around them. You know, all these people are dying. And the, the horror parts are, are just done so well because they sneak up on you. And it's, it's, some, it's, it's almost like a nightmare that you've had are these horror sequences that are, that are stuck in between this character work. And the, the plot move, moves along, but these, the horror parts are done so well. I mean, this book left me really, really uncomfortable reading it, but in a good way. It left me scared. It left me unsettled. It left me, you know, when you watch a really good horror movie and you walk out of the movie theater and it's late at night or whatever, you, you walk out of your living room if you're watching at home and you start to see things in the shadows and you start, you get that, what is that over there? That's the way I, <laughs> the next morning after reading this book, I would see things in the morning on my way to work. It's just, you would see silhouettes and like, what is that? That's the kind of feeling this book gets you. It leaves you unsettled. It leaves you questioning things. Another thing this book does really well is it explores this this feeling you get, and I'm sure we've all felt this at some point, is when you are in life, you're in some kind of situation, and you feel the situation is just spiraling out of control. You know what's happening, you know that it's spiraling out of control, and you either don't stop it for whatever reason, maybe you just accept that things are out of your control and you just kind of lay back and, and just let things fall, or you just don't know how to change it, but you can still feel that things are just spiraling out of control. They're just going, it's just getting worse and worse and you don't know how to stop it. You get, you get some of those feelings re- from these characters that are in these situations where you can, these things are just spiraling out of control and they just can't stop it and they just accept it. But you, as a reader, you can see that these things are just progress, just getting worse and worse for these characters and you, you grow to, to like them. And there are some, some coming of age aspects to this one too, because the characters as, as they grow out of high school, you know, that feeling that some of us get out after high school, if you're not sure what you want to do with your life, that feeling of, okay, what now? You know, what, what do I do now? And, and because of what some of them have been through, it's even ampli- it's amplified even more because they're trying to, to deal with what's happened to them. Now, I won't give away what happens uh, to each character, but there's some great sequences, sequences in this book. It explores parallel universes. It explores some metaphysics. I mean, there's... <laughs> I wanted to read scientific articles as I was reading, the, you know, while I was reading this one and after I wanted to look into these different theories that the, the book mentioned. And there's, there's lots of drug use in this town too. There's a certain drug that these kids are using that may or may not be related to all the craziness that's happening around them. So not only is it terrifying because of the horror aspects, which is done really well, it's also terrifying because of the ideas that it explores and the, the lens that, you know, sometimes we need a mirror held up in front of us. To, to kind of take a long, hard look at, at kind of where we are and what's happening out there for some people. So uh, overall, like I said, uh, this is one of the one of my favorite books I've read. Um, I know I've been saying that a lot lately, but I've been I've been on a on a really hot streak. <laughs> so if any of the things I've described in, uh, interest you, I highly suggest picking it up. If you want to read it and have a discussion, this is this is the kind of book you want to talk about with someone. You want to explore different ideas with. This is the kind of book that I'd be happy to reread and have a discussion with someone because it's there's so many things in this book I'm sure I missed. So I wouldn't mind going through and rereading it. It's not a very long book, but it is just packed full of goodness. Well, horror goodness, but you know what I mean. The characters are people I've known or knew. Uh, you know, you, you get to know them. You get to care about them, even though even with their flaws, you uh, you worry about them with all this weird stuff happening. The, the imagery is great. The cosmic horror, the horror, the hallucinations, the, it's so vivid and it really gets under your skin. It really sticks with you. This is on that level for me of something like uh, House of Leaves without, without the uh, footnotes. But th- that's the kind of impact it had on me is it they just left me with so much to consider after I finished it. So have you read Negative Space? If you have, let me know down below what you thought of it. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to come and hear me talk about this one. Until next time, I will talk to you soon.